everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Miss Lomo. I'm a teacher from Accra, Ghana. On this channel, I share content on how teachers can incorporate tech into their teaching. I also share tips and techniques to help classroom teachers enhance their teaching experience. So if you're new here, welcome to the family. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so by hitting the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I drop a new video. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I create my own printable worksheets for my learners and how you can also create your own printable worksheets. Since I discovered how to create my own printable worksheets, I have been loving the process so far and I can't wait to share the process with you. I use two main tools to create my printable worksheets, namely Google Slides and Canva. The focus of today's video is to teach you how I use Google Slides to create my printable worksheets and once you're done with that you can also create your own. Google Slides is a productivity tool from Google. Once you have a Google account you can have access to Google Slides and you can use it. It is free for all. The content of your worksheet will depend on you the teacher. You can use Google Slides to create worksheets for any class, for any level, for any lesson. For the purpose of this video, we're going to create a very simple worksheet. So if you're ready, let's get down to business. The first thing I do is to open the Chrome browser on my computer. I always make sure I am signed in. Once I open the Chrome browser, I click on Apps, then I click on Drive. Once my drive is opened, I click on the plus button on my left, I click on Google Slides, then I click on Blank Presentation. Once a new presentation is opened, I close the Theme tab, then I proceed to clear the slide of any text, then I change the page setup. So I'm going to change my document to portrait mode and I'm also going to make it the A4 document format. To do that, I'm going to click on File, then I go to Page Setup, then I click on Custom, then I change the dimension to 21.7 by 29 centimeters. Once that is done, I click on Apply and it will change the A4 document format. The next thing I'm going to do is to rename my document to make it easy for me to find it in my drive. To do that, I double click here, then I rename the document Literacy Worksheet. The next thing I'm going to do is to create a template for my worksheet. To do that, I click on Shapes, then I click on Square, then I drag the square across the document. Once that is done, I click on Fill and I make the fill of the square transparent. Once that is done, I click on the pencil icon to change the border color. So I'm going to make the border color black and I'm also going to increase the border weight. So I'm going to click here to increase the border weight to 3. Next, I'm going to give my learners a section to write their names. Then I'm also going to add an instruction for the worksheet. To add the name section, I'm going to click on the text box icon. Then I'll drag the text box to the position that I want to on the slide. Then I'm going to type in name, highlight it, then change the font and the font size. Once I'm okay with the font and the font size, I'm going to give my learners a line so that they can write their names on it. To do that, I'm going to click on the line icon, then I'll draw a line and drag it to position. The next thing I'm going to do is to change the color of the line and make sure it's black. Then I'm going to increase the thickness of the line to three. Once I'm okay with that, I'm going to add a second text box and add the instruction of the worksheet. Once I've typed in the instruction, I'm going to highlight it and change the font and the font size. So the plan of this worksheet is to give my learners an image containing a text on action verbs. Then they'll identify the images that have the action verbs and color those images. The image I have in mind is a balloon. I either upload my own image or I search the work. To do that, I click on insert, then I click on search the work and a new window will pop up. I'll then type in the image that I'm looking for, so balloon outline. Once the options pop up, I'll pick the option that I want and click insert. Once the image is inserted, I'll drag it to position and resize it and also crop it. 
To crop the image, I'll click on crop, then I'll remove the excess trim that I do not want. Then I'll drag the corners of the image to resize it. Once I am okay, I leave it as it is. Next, I'm going to add a text box to the image. This is where I'll type in the verbs. To do that, I'll click on the text box icon, then I'll drag it to position in the image. Once I'm okay with the position, I'm going to change the font size and the font of the text box. Now, the reason why I'm changing the font and the font size before typing is that I will duplicate the text box and the image. So once I have all of that sorted out, I just duplicate. But if I don't, I'll have to change the font and the font size for each of the text boxes that I will create. Once I'm okay with everything, I proceed to duplicate. Now to duplicate, I need to highlight both the balloon and the text box so that I can duplicate the two at a goal. To do that, I press shift on my keyboard, then I click on the balloon and the text box. Once I have grouped them, I click on Command D on my Mac computer to duplicate. For Windows, it is Control D. Once I am okay with the number of balloons and text boxes, I proceed to add my text. To add my text, I'm going to double click on each of the text boxes in the image, then I'll type in my text. Now that my worksheet is complete, I can print it straight away, keep it in my Google Drive, or download it on my computer. To download it, I go to File, click on Download, then choose the format I want to download it in. For printable worksheets, I will advise that you save it on your computers in PDF format. You can follow these steps to create your own worksheets. The process is pretty much the same. If you want to customize it, you go ahead and do it. No matter the age, no matter the level, no matter the lesson, you can create your own worksheets using Google Slides. The good news is I'm giving away the template for this worksheet for free. So click on the link in my description box to get yourself a copy. I believe this video has been helpful. Do try your hands on creating your own printable worksheets. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So like come your way with another video, keep on touching lights, which I get.